It's well known that people, businesses and even countries through taxpayer funds have spent quite a hefty amount of cash on advertising through social media within, let's say, the past more than decade. But right now, the Canadian government making quite some noise by going off of social media. Yes, Canada's government will stop spending some seven and a half million dollars per year on Facebook and Instagram ads. This amid a dispute over a new law on paying online news publishers, a law that of obviously Meta owned platforms have opposed. But this all comes after Google and Meta announced last month that they will end news access on their platforms in Canada following Bill C-18 or the Canadian Online News Act after that was passed into law last month. So you're probably wondering how did this all come about? Well, the legislation was drafted after calls from Canada's media industry asked for tighter regulation of internet giants that would allow news businesses to recoup financial losses suffered in the years that Facebook and Google gained a greater share of online advertising market. Well, the Canadian government is currently in the process of finalizing rules that would require the platforms to share some advertising revenue before the law is fully implemented by the end of this year. And Canada's Heritage Minister Pablo Rodriguez, who is the man who also introduced this legislation, saying on Wednesday that we, as in Canada, cannot continue paying advertising dollars to Meta while they refuse to pay their fair share to Canadian news organizations. Key words there, fair share. But it's not all doom and gloom in this situation because Rodriguez is also seeing some light at the end of this tunnel. He says in quotes, we believe we have a path forward and we're willing to continue talking with the platforms. Now, Meta has obviously not commented recently on the issue, but it has previ previously said that news does not hold economic value for the company. And news organizations are the ones who benefit from sharing their reports on Facebook. So what do you think is going to happen here? That's the real question. Will Canada back off or will Google and Meta share revenue with traditional Canadian news businesses? Will there be a clean split, a dirty split? Aren't Canadians supposed to be nice? Will it be an amicable split? Will they make up and will Google and Meta start creating more offices and jobs in Canada? What do you think the outcome will be? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to Modern Wall Street on, on YouTube and all these other social media platforms that Canada not, might, might not be using very soon. And for Modern Wall Street. I'm James Swinney.